Hey everyone, Dave here, and today I've got a fun video because today I finally received. Okay. Zon? Well, you guys can hear me? Sorry about that. So, as I was saying, it uh, should be a pretty fun video today. Uh, I've got here the summer super drop thing for the secret lair. I ordered this, I think, like four months ago or something, but it finally arrived today. But uh, better late than never, I suppose. And uh, got the whole box sealed here. I, this is how it arrived at, uh, at my apartment. So, should be all intact inside, hopefully. Let's go through the stop tape here. It's a bigger box than I was expecting, because this is just one set. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is uh, It's just a bunch of empty space in here also. I guess the main thing is I'm hoping that my fetch land is here and is not damaged. Don't see a fetch land yet. There it is. Alright, cool. Set this off to the side. Into this box. So, uh, if you've seen any of these open before, uh, like these, all the cards in here are the same except for there's the stained glass style planeswalker. Uh, typically, it's been kind of a random one, but in a couple of these, it's uh, well, in one of them, I think you, in two of them actually, you always get the same one. And then in one of these, I think you get one of two different ones. So in this one, the Heart of Steel, it should always be a Karn. In Mountain Go, I think it's always Rael. And in this Ornithological Studies one, I'm pretty sure it's always either Ugin or Nicol Bolas. I actually don't know which one is better to get, Ugin or Bolas. They're both pretty good cards. Uh, how about we start with... The path not traveled. I think this can be uh, like any random planeswalker in here. This paper. I actually forget which one this is, what cards are in it. Right, this is the planeswalkers one. This is only the second secret layer that I've ever got. Uh, I also bought the the Theros Gods one. I'm gonna remove this pretty carefully to not damage the cards. So and here we've got a Johnny, Domri. Supposed to be a Toy Story style, I think. A Johnny is, I guess, Captain. I don't know, some kind of superhero guy. I don't really know a lot about superheroes. They're a little bit curly, but honestly, like this much doesn't really bother me. The Tamio is a little bit jagged at the top here. I don't know what she's supposed to be. Nebraska. All right. So this is the card. The mystery card. Hopefully it's a Teferi. That would be pretty great. It is. Damn yeah. Well, at least it's a rare. That's cool. In my, uh, I'll just leave that on there for now. In my Theros bundle, I got all uncommon planeswalkers. Although one of them was Kiora, so that's a good one, and another was Tibolt. Uh, let's let's do the mountain go. Let's 
So in this one, it's just four lightning bolts with some cool art. And then I believe the Planeswalker is Rel's Storm Conduit. Uh, this packaging. One lightning bolt, two lightning bolts. This one's kind of cool, I like the bear. Three lightning bolts, four lightning bolts. These boxes are pretty cool too. Good for storage, I guess. Although I feel like I have enough storage boxes. Oh, this one's really stuck on there. Come on. Oh boy. Wow. Let's tear this apart. Try to make it a little bit easier. I'll try and twist it super close to the glue so that the card doesn't get bent. To be honest, with this one, I'm not super worried about it since it should just be a row. Yeah. I mean, it's not a terrible card, but it's not great. Uh, I'll do the hardest steel. This one should be a Karn, so I'll try to be a little bit more careful with that Planeswalker card. The other boxes that I got from the Theros one, I ended up just uh, using those to ship some stuff away. They're pretty much ideal size for that. So in this one I've got the Arcbound Ravager. Darksteel Colossus. And the main card for this whole summer super drop, I guess, is the Walking Ballista. Is a big one. Heard some people don't like this art, but I think it's pretty cool. Oh, my car just fell right out there. Didn't have to worry about that one getting stuck on. Ornithological studies. And I don't have the price counter thing up for this video because it's it's all the same stuff aside from a couple of uh, planeswalkers. These cards in the bird one are non foil. Okay. So in this one, we got the swan song. These are kind of jagged at the top too. Not really a fan of that. Birds of Paradise. Gilded Goose. Baleful Strix. Especially this one. Dovescape. And now this card should be either a Nicol Bolas or an Ugin. Let's just stuff on there a little bit. It is. Huh. Well, I guess I was wrong about that. Obnixilis. 
It kind of sucks. Oh well. The last one, what's this? The tattoo one. This one actually, I think it's my least favorite of these. Uh, like, it's just uh, not an art style that I'm super into, I guess. Maybe I get that it's subjective and a lot of people, maybe this might be their favorite, but I'm just not really a big fan of these. Spell Pierce, Blood Artist, Eternal Witness, Pithing Needle, and Ink Moth Nexus. This one is pretty cool. Uh, the card, I mean, Spell Pierce, it's a common, but. Art there. Out of all of these, I would say this one is my favorite of the, the tattoo arts. And this, I think it can just be any planeswalker. Come on to Fairy. Nurse set? Uh, that's quite a good one, actually. Yeah, I'll take that. Cool. So... I'm just gonna take another look at the condition of, of some of these. Bring it nice and close. This one's fine. Yeah, look at the top there. All this white stuff. Don't like that. And here are the planeswalkers again. Not bad. Focus. Anyway. Oh, I forgot. I have this too. Forgot about the fetch land. Uh, so here I'm looking for either a uh, Scalding Tarn or a Misty Rainforest. Marsh Flats. Oh well. Uh, actually, I can put this in one of my decks, though, so it's not so bad. Alright. If you're still watching, thanks for watching. Uh, I've got... Uh, I don't have any more product on the way to open, but uh, I might do some Zendikar. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy any of that yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to Commander Legends, though. I imagine I'll get uh, at least a little bit of that. Uh, if you like videos like this, it would be cool if you could subscribe, like, and whatnot. But otherwise, I'll talk to you later.